Hello everyone and welcome to Two Player Tuesday. I'm one of your hosts, Becca Scott. I'm another host, Jake Michaels. And today we are playing Dominion Digital, the progenitor of all deck builders. Jake, happy Becca. Two Player Tuesday. Happy Two Player Tuesday. I also thought it was tree trimming Tuesday because someone was trimming trees near me and I was scared it was gonna be too loud, but they stopped. At least they stuck with the alliteration. You know, you yes. gotta admire that in an arborist. Yeah, <laughs> we have nice neighbors who do that. It's been great. You know, it's important to trim your trees. Uh, well, I really enjoy the shade, but yeah, they're brushing up against the windows and delivering ants into our apartment, so we can't have them. Oh yeah, that is how ants get in, through yeah, untrimmed trees. <laughs> fun facts. Fun, not so fun fact. Well, hey, uh, everyone, I'm glad that we could continue absolutely uninterrupted our two-player Tuesdays. We never missed a week. I don't believe anyone that says otherwise. And, um, well, we're digital today because we are. I may or may not still be contagious. Oh, no. <laughs> but you feel and look a lot better, right? I, that's the power of makeup. Uh, I feel <laughs> excellent. I may be okay. a little bit still congested, but I don't feel contagious. That's so nice. <laughs> Fingers crossed when we do a shoot later this week. Yeah. Well, Fingers crossed for your child. Yeah, that <laughs> that's very Your optimistic. Unborn child. You. Fingers crossed for my child. <laughs> uh, you so speaking of uh, progenitors of deck builders, have you ever played Dominion? Look, that is more for the chat to decide. I think we may have played it once last year, yeah. but now I'm not sure, and it may have been a different, similar-looking digital interface. Yeah, that's very possible. They have updated it recently. This game is one of my favorites and I don't blame you for missing it because I mean, I missed plenty of games before I met you. Like you showed me Carcassonne and that had been out forever. I did, I did do that for you. Yeah. So you owe me for life. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was <laughs> uh, Is the debt. Um, yeah, uh, friendship is a series of debts that need to be paid and <laughs> repaid back and forth. And if you don't hold up your end of the bargain, friendship done. Not you, I, not, that's not a threat, Jake. I, I, Just a threat for everyone. It's fine, this is all getting recorded so I can refer to it later <laughs> with my lawyer. Uh, yeah, well, you're also are particularly good and a lover of deck builders. So I was surprised to hear that you hadn't played this and I'm excited to show it to you today. I am excited to see. <gasps> Perfect transition. Perfect transition. There we go. Did you see that? That was that was flawless. I, saw yeah. the fade I used yeah. a stream deck for once. I just made one button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nightcat, the archivist of all of our content, says Jake has played Dominion on the YouTube channel, but not with everyone but Becca. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought, yeah. Okay, yeah, I probably had guests played it. That makes sense. I knew it had existed in a thumbnail that I scrolled <laughs> past. I, I knew it had been played without me on the channel. Yes. Well, I have an old physical copy, but I'm glad we played this digital version because it's really slick and smooth. It's on Steam and it has every expansion, including some new ones. Uh, today we're playing the base game, which is in its second edition. And we're playing with two expansions, one called Adventures and one called Cornucopia. Ooh. Um, so Becca, for you and for the viewers who've never really played Dominion, I'll give a brief overview of the game. Uh, a deck builder is where you build a deck. Uh, Becca and I both start with 10 cards that are the same. Our starting deck is what it's known. We have uh, in our starting deck three estates, which is that green card in Becca's hand that you see. And we have seven copper. Uh, she's dra We draw a starting hand of five cards. So you see she has four and one there. And uh, she will use her money to purchase more cards, putting them into her discard, which will eventually turn into her deck. Let's uh, learn by doing a little bit. I'm gonna spend right. four copper and buy a card. So Jake can see my screen and now. you all are uh, playing as me, BT dubs. Yeah. Uh, so you can see that she has the game's lit up options that uh, of cards that she can purchase, the cost of which is each on the uh, bottom left-hand side. And then if she clicks on it, it expands to show what it does. Okay, I already have decided remodel because yeah. trashing a card is number one in deck building strat, hands down. Yeah. Gain a card costing up to plus two more than it. What's nice about remodel is it's gain a card costing up to two more than it. So if you trash an estate for instance, which costs two, you could buy anything, or you could instantly gain anything from cost of two to four. Cool. Actually, I guess zero to four. All right, awesome. that was my turn. 
Yeah, so Becca and I are going to be uh, gaining cards that way. Notably, we're also going to try and gain cards that are up on that top left there. You see there's uh, three green cards, the province, the duchy, and the estate. Those have victory points on them, and whoever has the most victory points in the game ends is the winner. The game ends when either the provinces are all depleted or any three piles in the game are depleted. And piles are just on the left side, or it also includes... It's every card you see there, except the two on the far right, Quest and Inheritance. Uh, those are what's known as events. They are cards that you don't add to your deck, but you do the thing on them. Go ahead and click on Quest real quick. I cannot. Oh, I can right click. Yeah. Uh, you may discard an attack, two curses, or six cards. If you do, gain a gold. So this is uh, cost zero. So it does cost one of your buys, but it doesn't cost you any money to activate it. Oh, uh, how many buys am I allowed per turn? You get one buy and one action, but cards can give you additional actions and additional buys. Crucially, your turn is split into two quick phases, which is like the action phase and then the buy phase. So you have to do all your actions first before you do all your buys. Sorry, Jake, quick technical note. I have you at maximum volume. Could you maximum maximize volume. your own volume a bit? Sure. I would love to. Thanks, Nightcat, for looking out on the uh, technical side. You can click on other cards and check what they do while I'm. No. Okay. Tell me no. Inheritance once per game. Testing, Set testing. Oh yeah, that sounds great. All right. Okay, great. I didn't read inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's actually kind of crash into this. So um, I'm going to probably, I have, I'm going to play three. I'm going to probably try this merchant. Uh, if you want to right click on the merchant, it says plus one card, plus one action. And the first time you play a silver this turn, you get an extra coin. Hmm. Let's try it. Now, are the silver and gold always purchasable on this left hand side here? That's right. If you right click <gasps> them, you'll see. Oh, okay. Now, actually, I probably shouldn't have bought a merchant given I don't have a silver to benefit from. So maybe that'll be my next purchase. Yeah. Okay. It's back to my turn. Hmm? Um, I've got three coppers, so we'll go ahead and play them. I'm interested in maybe buying a silver someday, but gold is better. Yeah. Well, for the basics of folks that are like learning this game, too, silver is only one card, right? But it's two coins. So you can uh, uh, augment your power of your hand because you only draw five at the top of your turn. Right. Or I should say, end of your turn. I think that makes a lot of sense. I took the silver. Yeah, I actually probably should also take silver too because I bought something that really benefits from it. So I'm gonna do the same. If you ever are unsure what I do if I go too fast, there's also that log button on the bottom left, which is literally a log. I wasn't snapping at you. I was snapping because Fargo Baggins thinks I'm out of sync, but I don't think that I am. Ooh. I don't know how to tell that, but you look great in the Zoom. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was the click on the bottom left, you can see a log of everything that's happened in the game so far. Oh, <laughs> it's a picture it's of a log. log. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's a nice review of like, oh, wait, what did he buy on his turn? You can catch that. Oh, a silver and shuffled and drew five cards. Okay. So I can play my action card now. Yeah. And it prompts me to do my action card before my purchasing. You'll always do actions first before purchasing. Now it's highlighted all those cards in red, which means you're about to do the remodel, which is to trash one of those cards. Gosh, now, I know my estate cards are pretty clutch and I'm throwing away victory points that way. Do you recommend not throwing away estate? I love so throwing away estates because they're only worth one point, right? Yeah. Whereas if you can purchase some provinces, well, that's still one card, but it's worth six. Now you gain a card costing up to two more than that estate. That estate costs two, so you can buy up to four. So a horse trader is plus yeah. one buy, meaning I could purchase two things on my turn. Mm -hmm. And then uh, plus three coins every time it comes up. That's amazing. And then discard two cards. When another player plays an attack card, you must first set this aside from your hand. If you do, then at the start of your next turn, plus one card and return this to your hand. I don't get it. Explain it. <laughs> it's a little extensive, but if I ever play an attack card, which by the way, I believe Bandit is an attack card in this game, on your turn, you get to play it from your hand, setting it aside. So what it's saying is uh, those two blue cards, Moat and Horse Traders, are reaction cards, and you get to play them on your turn, or excuse me, when it's my turn. 
Sure. Um, if you do, then at the start of your next turn, you'll have an additional card and you get it back into your hand. So it's like, if you have the horse trader, they're kind of like, well, I'll get a bonus for you attacking me. I think that I need to see it in action before I fully get it, but sure. I get that it's good and it's the most expensive thing I can buy. So done. I'll try to give you the gift of using it by attacking you too. Oh, thanks. So, um, let's see. I'm thinking about buying a merchant, merchant because I already have one silver. Mm -hmm. I have three to work with, but a moat is plus two cards. Whenever another player plays an attack card, you can first reveal this to be unaffected by it. Yeah, Moat's a pretty cool defensive card. <sighs> but you know what I learned? I'm Mana economy, you know, you gotta like ah, use man. your whole hand. Um, yeah, but sometimes if the card isn't what you need and it just costs less, then that's okay. There have been plenty of games where I just bought silvers because I didn't like it when I had four coins, but I just didn't like the four cards. Um, the Apoxicanus, who's the publisher of Dominion? That's Rio Grande Games. And um, I believe the people that make the digital version are known as Temple Gates Games. I couldn't tell you. I just don't know. Um, fantastic intro into deck building. All right, so Becca went, and would you purchase a silver? Um, I got a merchant. Nice, okay, you're comboing up. Um, I'll play my merchant, but unfortunately, oh, now I got to draw one card in one action by playing that, and I drew my silver, which is nice. And the merchant allows me to nice. gain another coin when that happens. So let's play all these coppers, and I got six dollars all of a sudden. Boy, um, I think I might buy what is my favorite card in this game. Well, it's not my favorite, but it's pretty fun. The hireling, which is up on the top right there. Tell me more about this hireling. The hireling is a duration card, which means it actually stays in play. And it says at the start of, of your turns for the rest of the game, plus one card. So now what? I'll have a six card. Hit. Oh, okay. Well, I'm doing that immediately. <laughs> yeah, hirelings are fun. Oh, I can auto play my treasures. Here I was clicking each one individually like an idiot. Like a patient merchant is what I would say. Thanks. Okay, so I can't afford the hireling, that's six. So I think I need to remodel again. Oh, Nightcat also made a good point. This game is free on Steam, yeah. uh, right? The base game is free? Yeah, I downloaded it yesterday. Oh, awesome, I didn't realize that. I thought it was like five bucks. You know what? They charge between five and 10 for all the expansions. Hmm, okay. What does Hamlet do? You may discard a card plus one. Actually, you may discard a card for plus one buy. Oh, not that interested. Um, let's do a silver. Okay. Me, I got a merchant in my hand. Hopefully, you'll draw that silver. I hey! did. I did. It all worked out. Oh my gosh! The first time you play a silver this turn, plus one. Hell yeah. So that silver is essentially a gold for you now. Okay, you so wait, where is it holding up my temp? So you'll see on the left-hand side, Becca, you have one action, one buy, and six coins. Thank you, there it is. One action, one buy, six coins. Well, oh, that's a hireling right there. Let's increase our max hand size, baby. Yeah, it's a fun card. I'm jealous of your remodel, that's a good purchase. Thank you. All right, I'm doing the same merchant trick again with a silver. This time, um, I'm tempted to get a gold, but We're gonna try a bandit tree today. What does the giant do? Oh yeah, we're gonna do the bandit today. Aw, thank you so much Aztec Consulting for the, uh, thanks for f wishing me to feel better. <laughs> All right, I was just putting chat on the overlay. I, I didn't know where yeah. to put it. I didn't know. There we go. You know what, it's fine. All right, we're gonna remodel. And again, the estate's not doing any good for me right now. Right. Now there are some cards that are um, beneficial to have estates for, which are like discard a card to do a thing. And it's nice to just discard a card you don't need, but I haven't seen any of those right now. The merchant was pretty sweet, but not till I get more silver. Gosh. What's a Hamlet do? A card, an action. And you can discard a card for more. It's kind of a, a medium, like it doesn't really progress much, but if you need bonus stuff to do, 
can do it. So a moat, I can also use it as a plus two cards if I don't use it as a reaction. Is that what it's saying? Uh, so you actually get to use it as both if it's in your hand because it says you may first reveal it from your hand. You don't have to actually discard it. You're just like, Jake, I got a moat and you show it to me and smile smugly and then my bandit doesn't affect you. Mm, okay, I'm just gonna get another silver. Now I have okay. three total silvers. Oh, David Flagel gifted a bunch of subs. Thank you so much for gifting to 10 subs, David Flagel. I appreciate Thanks, you. All right, I got my hireling out who will stay there, um, but I only have two coins. So I guess I'll try a Hamlet. Okay, my turn. Have, have a good ramen date, big sandwich. Oh. Makes me love warm. ramen and love a and good a date, date. Yeah. a good date. Let's start with hireling. Now remember, you have only one action per turn. Oh, shoot, okay. You do have an undo button, which uh, prevents you from doing your thing on your turn. I think, I think honestly, hireling, hireling is still good. Yeah, 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 I drew my remodel, but you know. Horse Shader doesn't to... have plus one action, does it? No, plus one buy, plus three coins, yeah. discard two cards. Yeah. But the problem is now you only have one coin and there's not much you can buy with one coin. Do I want a quest? I don't think you can, because you may <clears throat> discard two, an attack or two curses or six cards, which none of which you have in your hand. So a copper is an option, or you could just choose not to buy. I tend to not buy if I don't can't afford anything, because yeah, copper kind of, yeah. But hey, you started your hireling chain, which is nice. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, I should have muted myself for that, sorry. No sweat. Like that. Um, all right, so I have six coins now. Um, I'm tempted to go for a gold just to start getting that money. If you want to buy phase, it's two and spent. You may return this. Oh, yeah, the wine merchant's kind of fun. Let's try him. Okay. Ooh, I have another action card, the merchant. It's gonna give me a card and an action. Oh my gosh, I am so out of control. Oh, watch this. Ten oh, treasures. Oh, man. Okay. So I think I buy a province here. I think that's a smart move. Yeah. Now, it will look, right click on inheritance real quick. I just want to remember what it does. Once per game, set aside a non-command action card from the supply, costing up to four. Uh, your estate token to it. During your turns, estates are also actions. Oh, okay. I misunderstood what this was, actually. Okay. So what this says is you can take a... Uh, like dibs a on a pile, basically. K kind of, yeah. And it all it, it always, um, your estates are always that card. Okay, so during your turns, estates are also actions. So if I don't have another action, I can do something on the board. Uh, not if quite. I, if it's I just like my, if you I put it, it, I get it. Yeah, if you put it on merchant, all of your estates are also merchants. Estates are also merchants. Thank you. Okay. Um, interesting. I'm going to just get a province, province card yeah. because province that's six victory bet. points. Yeah. And then there was nothing. It, oh, I was only allowed one buy, so I just wasted two extra. But it's fine. Provinces are worth it. Are you weaning? All right. I got a merchant. And okay, here we go. Our first attack of the game. We'll see if she's got defenses for it. She doesn't. So... Uh. I banded at you. It looks like the game did it automatically, but if you want to see what it did, you can look at the log and it made the bandit force you to reveal the top two cards of your deck. And if they were a uh, treasure other than a copper, like a silver or a gold, you'd have to trash him and then you discard the rest. But thankfully neither of them were, so you just discarded them. Okay, fair. Um, uh, not fair, okay. unfair. But yeah, not fair. Uh, I'll, I have five. I don't want to keep attacking you constantly, so I'm going to do a remodel. Yeah, that's really like super lame. I don't yeah, know I if know. you know. Oh, I, super this is more attacky than I, than I saw coming. Okay, I'm going to play a remodel and get rid of one of my mini coppers in hand. My emerald game. light. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, it's Sarah. Yeah, Sarah just subscribed. Welcome, oh, Sarah. Oh, thank you for the sub, friend. Okay. Well, I've only got two uh, treasure to work with, but 
man, you've got a bandit, so maybe I want a moat. Yeah, maybe. The bandit also gives me a gold, which is fun. Cool for you. <laughs> What's a wine merchant? So a wine merchant's a fun one. Uh, it's actually, it goes away. It like goes into exile. Uh, or maybe well, it that, gets drunk. <laughs> I'm trying to say exile is like a magic term. Uh, after you do it, it gives you plus one buy, plus four coins, and it goes away. Then at the end of your buy phase on future turns, if you have two extra coins unspent, like you did when you bought that province, you get it back from your tavern map. Got it. A giant. Uh, let's just try a wine merchant. Why not? Yeah, wine merchants are fun. All right, um, let's go. Um, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna do something kind of crazy. Go on. I'm gonna undo that. I'm going to play Hamlet first, and then I may discard an action or discard foreign action. I will. I'll discard this copper for a bonus action. Then I'll play my wine merchant. Then I'll remodel the silver into a another wine merchant. Then I'll play eight coins total for another province. Or for my first province, actually. Woo! Uh, oh man, we hit a level five hype train. Thank you to all the people who subscribed. Thank you, Tommy Front Seat, for the five gifted subs. Tommy Front Seat, shut the <laughs> front door. Thank you so much for gifting them subs. Solid Stevo asks a great question. Becca, did you see the ARCs Kickstarter drop today? No, tell me about ARCs. Oh my goodness, this is Leader Games' new space game. Uh, Leader Games are the makers of Root, oh. one of the many games we love. I saw an Earth. email thread with Leader Games about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they crushed their goal in like 10 minutes, I think. I think they're closing on the half million last time I checked. Oh gosh, um, well we can take a look at that. Um, but that's only one of two interesting Kickstarters that are happening today, actually. Uh, what's the other? Do oh, we have a gonna... Kickstarter? <laughs> No, we don't, but uh, some good friends over in Italy I'll do. Never Ludus Magnus is, uh, uh, has launched The Breach. Oh, thank you. Wait, hold on. I'm sharing. Yeah, one space game at a time. We're, we've got the audio. Hold on. To help our people move to the core worlds. Others were repurposed as vessels of war. Their engines were simply too precious to waste. It's been six years since we heard from any of the worlds on the edge of the Reach. Each cycle of the heart. overwhelms another outpost. It breaks my heart to imagine our great cities overcome by its jungles. Though I am by birth a regent of the Imperium, Two the minutes remaining. these worlds has ruined my <laughs> Okay, it's maybe it's a little much for the stream. <laughs> this is beautiful. The art looks so cool. Yeah, man. Kyle Farron's a great artist, and he got to do some space stuff this time. Uh, it's an intricate you, are you, game. So of, you're familiar with leader games, is what you're saying? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. I need to actually show you Oath, too, sometime. Uh, Jake's not taking the prompt. He, there is a podcast <laughs> on Good Time Society <laughs> called Woodland War Machine, all That's about right. Root. So maybe we should be sure and check that out. Yeah, Can new episode on Thursday. And then, uh, of course, we did a video for The Breach by the Ludus Breach. Magnus, uh, which is a really, really cool game. Oh, I well, enjoyed it. Oh, uh, no, Quackalope. Oh, he shaved his head. <laughs> That's not my video. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, briefly made it on screen for a second before Database you got him off. Database and That's stealing Shh. information. <laughs> That's right. That's us. That's our video, y'all. There yeah. it is. Yeah, which yeah. I posted a little. Uh, I love me doing my eyelash video. Yeah. Thank you for the behind the scenes video I incorporated in there. Mm -hmm. uh, look, it's it finally time to use the eyelashes. So <laughs> if y'all want to check out the new tutorial, it's now up on the YouTubes. It's a fun game. You play a hacker uh, running through a secure corporate grid trying to gather information before ICE kills you or other hackers do. Were you, uh, that's great. That, yeah, that's the end of the summation. <laughs> and we didn't now play enough turn. of it to get into it. Yeah. We will someday. I mm -hmm. would play with you on uh, in-person yeah. two-player Tuesday. Okay. Absolutely. So I only have one action card. If I play horse traders, I don't get another action. 
and I can't use my remodel. You do get three coins though. And remember with horse traders, if you right click it, it says you have to also discard two cards. So you could always ditch the remodel that you wouldn't be using because you're not using it anyway. Whatever, I'm using remodel. Sounds good. Remodel's a great card. Mm. The nice thing about Merchant is it also just replaces itself by allowing you to draw one card and giving you one action. So if you don't have what you need in your hand, you'll get at least one more card to see. Thanks for the pro tip. I'd get two more. All right. Wait, hold on. But that's only if you have a silver in hand, right? Uh, no, no the, you get a plus one. Got it. Yeah, you still get it. Yeah. All right. We're going to bandit you again. Ooh, you got lucky. Discarded none of those. Ha ha. Um, that leaves me with just $3, which is not enough for my taste. I haven't really trashed anything. I love trashing and I haven't done it. Um, silver it is. You're not as trashy as me. No, I've always said that too. <laughs> In all our business meetings. Well, since Becca's the trashy one, mm -hmm. it comes up so often. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try merchant because I get another action, and then I got another merchant, and then I'll remodel. Okay. Oglight Eleven says, "Yay, Dominion! This game made me rage at my friends so much, and I love it." Why did you rage? Oh, because of probably like cards like Bridge Troll and Giant. The attack cards in this game can be very mean. Can I curse you? What's a curse? <laughs> Only in real life. Uh, there are cards in the game that give curses to other players. I have a curse, but I assume that doesn't go on me. Yeah, you do not want to buy it. Uh, you, you, there's cards that enable it. It's just in the game in case we find a card that does enable it. Okay. Actually, I, maybe there's a card in, in here right now that does. I don't think any of them do. Does Giant give a curse? Oh, yeah, Giant does. Turn your journey token over. Get a bunch it of coins. It starts face up. That if it's face down. Yeah, you get coins. And then the other player reveals a top card from their deck and trashes it if it costs between the range of three and six and otherwise discards it and gains a curse. So if you reveal the copper, you discard it and gain a curse. This seems rude. Well, I have no defenses, so it would smash me. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want any of these. Gain a card costing up to two. Do I have to? No, you can, you can, uh, oh, yes, because you've remodeled. So you're fulfilling the remodel. I you, see, uh, remodel. You remodeled that estate, yeah. I get it, I get it. Um, you can also undo that if you didn't want to do that. Because if you remodeled the silver, for instance, you gain a card costing up to five. Interesting. Dominion, Dominion intrigue tests friendships. That's such a good point. <laughs> I remodeled the silver instead. Oh, okay. bridge troll. There you Each go. other player takes their minus one token. Now at the end of the start of your next turn, plus one buy. While you have this in play, cards cost one less on your turns. Uh, the minus one token means I just have minus one coin on my next turn, which is annoying. I just took a giant. <laughs> okay. The okay. fighting has begun. So um, how many hirelings can one have? Well, technically, uh, there's only eight more in the game, so I guess as many as you can buy. The thing is, is they do take up an action to get going, but I mean, if you get them all out there, you have a huge hand. That's right. Do it. Yeah, she did it. All right. Um, I gotta, gotta get going here. Um, I think we're just gonna start getting more money because that's just the way to buy stuff. Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna play a merchant because it gives me an additional action and a new card. I'm going to play. A wine merchant. Ooh. And my treasures. And now I have seven monies to work with. And I'm interested in gold. I'm interested in gold. <laughs> now, <laughs> That's how I start all our meetings. <laughs> now, Becca, note that uh, your wine merchant is now up on your tavern mat over on your left-hand side there. To get uh, him back, you'll need to have two leftover coins after you've finished buying on your turn. Okay. Good. Two. No. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make a sweet move here. Don't. We're going to discard a copper for an action. We're going to play wine merchant. Ooh, 
You had a wine merchant this whole time? That's my second one, actually. What? Yeah. Um, You can tell how many are gone, by the way, by looking at the supply pile. So we know there's seven left. If you bought one, I got the other two. Hold on. What is a Marmite game, Mr. Morden? A Marmite game. That's what I'm hearing. It's a Marmite game. Um, uh, oof. actually, yeah. Okay. Becca, watch this. If you're, if you're still not looking up Marmite, I'm going to remodel my gold. What? Into a province. Oh, snap. Then buy a gold. Okay. Boom. Bonkers. Oh, they're not saying Marmite's a game. <laughs> Oh, it's a Marmite game, as in you love it or hate it. Oh, I love that. Okay. What's Marmite mean? Oh, Marmite is like, oh, man, how do you describe Marmite? It's like a topping in England. Um, oh, okay. It, it's what I thought it was. It's a like a, a spread, right? It's a figgy pudding. Fig. That's what it's, yeah. Fig. Is it? Uh, well, no. no. <laughs> I actually don't know. Let's look. It's an extract and a duh. Yeast it's extract? made from the byproducts of beer brewing and is currently produced by the British con- British company Unilever. Oh, it's not fig at all. That'd be way better. It's <laughs> beer leftovers. That's, I'd rather have peanut butter any day. In fact, I would eat only peanut. If I could choose one Ooh. food to only eat for the rest of my life, it would be peanut butter. Their own marketing campaign is love it or hate it. <laughs> I think I tried it once in England and I didn't yeah. love it. So yeah, I think I've tried it too. It was the other one. <laughs> We've been playing this for 28 days. Uh, so you can actually play oh. async games. <laughs> I yeah. see. That's how long mm-hmm. we have left. Yeah. Used to scrape it off the inside of beer barrels. Why would you eat that? There's so many things questions in history i have about how we got food of like why would you eat that (laughs) guess what when people are hungry enough they'll try anything (laughs) yeah yeah that's very true i guess starvation is a good motivator yeah uh oh my turn uh bandit becca Uh uh-oh she's got a reaction card boom did you was it horse traders what was it it? was horse traders okay so i trashed your silver which felt good into gold, but you got horse traders, which is nice. What did that give you? It gave you plus one card at the start of your next turn. No, uh, you didn't play it. You just set it aside. You're going to get it at the start of your turn. Does I that see. make sense? Sure. You can say sure. You'll see. There it is. So now you have eight cards in your hand. That's crazy. Well, I only have four right now. Uh, no, you have definitely have eight. There should be a number on the top left of cards showing you how many oh, of them you have. Oh, I have many. I have four coppers. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Let's do something not nice. Not nice. There's a sound effect that you didn't hear. It was of a giant stomping. <laughs> oh, I see him. Okay. Thankfully, that didn't do anything yet. It'll do it on its second time. That's cool for not me. Do you want to? You can also undo that if you had more actions you want to play. But what you've done is you've set him up. So the next time you draw him, he'll hit me. Do you want me to explain how he works real quick? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to play horse traders instead. Oh, discard two cards? Well, sure. Yeah, you can discard the giant because you're not going to use it. And then will other things stay in my hand? They should. Okay. You have to discard two cards, though. Now I got it. Six coins. That's right. A gold. Oh, I got another buy, but I don't even want it. Yeah, you can just give it. All right. Cheese um, is milk gone bad. You're right, Mr. Morden. I mean, that's pretty clear how people got to that. You're hungry. Read you're like, it anyway. Yeah. I don't care if it's gone okay. bad. It's chunky, but is it tasty? Oh, is it chunky? <laughs> um, let's trash a copper. Chunky. With our remodel. 
grab a moat and play silver. Okay, I want to do that really cool thing that you did with trashing Remodeling the a gold. gold. Yeah, mm -hmm. so let me try that. I'll trash the gold, gain a province, and then... Oh, you did it. I'll yeah. play my treasures. Wow, I've got another six. I could just get another gold again. There you go. That's, <laughs> That's exactly turn. what you did before. Ha! And you took the lead. No, I still got it barely. Okay. Um, let's oh, you see. have 15 points and I have 12. You're not going to like this turn. I just flat out got eight bucks. I don't care. Okay. That's good. That's mature. Because I got a merchant and a merchant oh, no. and a merchant. Oh no, so that's really cool because if you have multiple merchants, the first silver you play is gonna get augmented by all three of them. Oh, so, hmm, I see. Well, let me just remodel real quick though. <laughs> now I play oh. my treasures. <laughs> I have eight Good. and we'll buy another Good. province. Good. <laughs> One province less left. Oh my goodness. Now I just lost the lead because of that. Okay, so one province less will, left will end the game. So if I can buy it this turn, I'll win. If I can't buy it this turn, I have to hope she can't buy it next turn. Um, but if you buy one, you'll be at 27. Then I just need a duchy to tie you. What's a tiebreaker? I don't know what the tiebreaker is, actually. That's a good question. It might be whoever purchased it last. I don't know. I don't know what the tiebreaker is. I'm on to the, I'm showing everybody the rules. Mm. Well, I might end the game, so. The player who had out. the fewer turns wins. Fewer turns, okay. Equal, well, what number, if of equal turns, number of turns. Tie, oh. tie, okay. tie, a tie. Right. We're gonna discard this bandit for, well, no, hold on. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you had to approve my undoes. Uh, if it's an action, or if it's like a, if it reveals new information, I do, because I drew a card from it. I don't have to approve your undoes if it's just like within your own turn. I but see. if it reveals new information. It, it yeah. asks me if I want to. It's very clever. I like that. Uh, not to keep you in suspense, but I got it. I'll, I'll tie you. Except, oh, Babingo. rematch. Re One more. Play again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, you want to replay? Let's take an interlude. Okay. Actually, while we do that, I'll build a new kingdom. So that's perfect. You can build the whole kingdom. Mm -hmm. We've got some sassy jazz happening in the background. That's <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, sassy's sassy's the best word for it. Uh, actually, chat. If you have a kingdom you wanna. Uh, oh, sorry, do... Jake. Can you do like more of a smooth jazz voice? Uh, hey there, chat. That's better. While we're prepared for our next game, we'd like your input on our kingdom. If you have a card you'd like to see from either the second edition base game, Cornucopia, or uh, Adventures, go ahead and put the card's name in the chat right now. We're taking your calls and your suggestions. <laughs> clipped that. <laughs> okay, good. It says clip copied to clipboard. Does that make it a clip? That's what your clipboard is? I don't know. Nice. Chat, you're going to help me. Oh, yeah, it worked. I'm going to go ahead and share it right now. Oh, the traveling them You want to... Kingdom, you want to? Uh, oh, sorry, do... Jake. Can... <laughs> Everyone can hear what I'm doing. They can hear your clacking. No, they can hear my playback of the clip I'm sharing oh. to Twitter right now. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, I'll do that. Gonna add training as an event, which is fun. Let's see what else. Oh, Adventures in Carnicopia, Traveling Fair, Artificer, Miser.
Okay, we can try that. Did they ever put dragons in Dominion? Asked Mr. Morden. Dragons, hey, I... vampires, and cats are needed in kingdoms. Objectively. Oh, yeah. Uh, there are, like, Nocturne, I believe, has some supernatural elements, like vampires in it. And there are witches. But I don't think there's any big, high fantasy, like, elves or anything like that. I don't it's think I've said hello to medieval. this just in, by the way. Nocturne oh, has also... vampires and cats. was on it. Nice. And Justin actually contributed to our first kingdom there. He gave me a lot of suggestions for that first one, which is nice. He good. He's real good. Anytime I ask a suggestion, Justin seems to know what to suggest. Justin knows things. While Jake builds our kingdom, I'm just going to talk over the jazz. (laughs) That's right. Play that saxophone. Jazzy saxophone. Okay, so this is your DJ voice, is that right? Look, this is actually my legendary ballroom voice. Mm. So Jake, well, I had COVID. I needed a new show that I could not think about and just watch people duck walk beautifully. Sure, sure. And that show is legendary on HBO. This is a show about, if you've ever seen clips of the narrative show Pose, that's exposing the world of ballroom, which started, I think, in the 70s, definitely huge in the 80s in New York in, like, the black trans underground world. And, Whoa. yeah, and it, it's, um, it was these balls. They would put on these fabulous balls and dress to the nines. And then there's judges who will say who's the best, you know, basically, like, catwalk walker. Yeah. Um, but it's evolved to incorporate a lot of dance and incorporate a lot of, it's the origin of voguing. And it's a very good, if you like competition shows, Ooh, like not yeah. competition shows are not for everyone, but um, I, I like a good competition show. I generally don't, but I did get into Drag Race for a brief time because some friends were into it. And I have to say, it's pretty entertaining. If you like Drag Race, which I've only seen like one episode of Drag Race, but if you like Drag Race, you will love Legendary. Okay. Less behind the scenes drama, more just performances. Yeah. And there's houses. Each house is five performers (sighs) and they're brilliant. What's a house made up of? You mean, is it like where they live and there's drama within team. that too? Okay, it's your yeah. team, but like they obviously know each other and they right, practice right. their choreography all week and then they come up with brilliant thematic costumes. Each ball has a different theme and then they need like a thing they're doing within the ball. This behind the scenes drama is where it's at. Now, yeah, disagree. I am strongly oh. out of the camp of american competition show i'm very british competition show give me some great british bake-off i like when everyone gets along and everyone cries when someone has to go home because they (laughs) love their friends and liked competing against them um and it's so hard to watch someone go home but if i see anyone doing a drama i'm like vote them off get get rid of them no (laughs) and that's how i live my own life yes (laughs) i love that um, I think we're gonna try this. This looks fun. Yeah, let's try it. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. Okay. Um, adding Becca, create. Oh, I've added two of them. I'm abandoning one of them. All right. Let me know when you're in. Abandoned. I'm in. The bingo. And now that you know how to play the game and we've reviewed a little bit, let's real quick look at the cards we have in here. You in? I'm in. Okay, cool. Uh, Great, so Menagerie. Let's right click on Menagerie first. It's plus one action. It costs three coins. It's over on the left there. Uh, Reveal your hand. If the revealed cards all have different names, you get plus three cards. Otherwise, you just get plus one card. What is that? The traveling fair? A uh, menagerie over on the bottom left. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> okay. With me so far? Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Plus one, plus one action, reveal your hand. If you reveal cards, all have different names. Plus three cards, otherwise one card. Workshop. 
This one also costs three, and you simply gain a card, costing up to four. That'll gain you silvers, land menageries, and more workshops. Next, we have the Farming Village. It gives you plus two actions. Then you reveal cards from your deck until you reveal a treasure, which are those coins, obviously, mm -hmm. gold, silver, or copper, or an action card. Put that card into your hand and then discard the rest. So it lets you get through your deck and look for either actions or treasures. Love it. Um, Miser, this is an interesting one. You choose one of these two options. You either put a copper from your hand onto your tavern mat, or you get plus one coin per copper on your tavern mat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now this is a one that probably competes with that, which is Money Lender, where you may straight up trash a copper from your hand for three coins, but then it just goes away forever. Miser is the same thing, except for Miser, you can make it even more powerful because- it can, You can make it up to five. Uh, you get seven in your starting deck, so you could even- Oh, there's seven? seven? You can oh. even buy more coppers and keep doing that, but that's a lot of actions just to use to get Miser powerful. But I mean, if you get Miser up there way high, he's he's worth a lot of coins. Yeah. Uh, let's move over to Artificer over on the top left. Plus one card, plus one action, plus one coin. Then you discard any number of cards. You may gain a card onto your deck, costing exactly one per card discarded. So it's a little extensive, but you can just discard a number of cards to get a bonus buy of something that costs an amount equal to the number of cards you discarded. Cool. Cool. You lost me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Council room. This one's fun. Plus four cards, plus one buy. Each other player draws a card. So where you get four cards, I still at least get one, but four cards is a lot. That's okay. Yeah. I'm into it. Haunted Woods. Now this is a duration card. Like Hirelings, it stays out for one additional turn, but unlike Hireling, it'll go back into your deck. Until your next turn, when any other player buys a card, they put it into their hand, uh, onto their deck. They put their hand onto their deck in any order. That's insane. So like, let's say I have three gold and like two estates in my hand and I play the gold uh, and I buy something. If your Haunted Woods is out, I have to put my estates back on top of my deck, thus drawing them next turn. <laughs> okay. So I get lost in the woods a little. Hmm. Market, one of the many people's favorite card. It's just straight up one card, plus one action, plus one buy, plus one coin. Oh, sweet. Simple. Just good. It's all good news. Yeah. All good economy. <laughs> uh, fairgrounds. This is a victory point card. It's like our province and our duchies and our estates. So they don't have actions on them. But at the end of the game, it's going to be worth two victory points per five differently named cards you have. That's not so if great. You have, if, well, if you have a diverse kingdom, like let's say you managed to get, you know. Well, now you're ten. making me say I don't want a diverse kingdom, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> game wise. Uh, but game wise, Jesus. diverse. And so, where are we going? So if you could get if you could get up to fifteen differently named cards, you've already got two in your hand. You got copper and a state. You can get fifteen, which seems insane. I don't think you could do that. But let's say you can get ten. That's a four point card. Stop trying to talk me into buying fairgrounds. It's the worst card, and I'll never buy it. Great. And then traveling fair. Traveling Fair is an event like Quest and Inheritance, which we didn't really do last time. So I'll remind you that you can use your buys and thus your coins on these two events, but they don't add anything to your hand. You just like take them as if they were in action. So the Traveling Fair is gains, you gain plus two buys, which means you can obviously buy again. And when you gain a card this turn, you can put it on top of your deck. Okay. Instead of your discard pile. Training is Training is fun. It costs six, and then you move a plus one token to an action supply pile. Whenever you play a card from that pile, you first get plus one coin. So, Becca, for example, you can move your training onto your market. Then anytime you play a market, you're going to get two coins instead of one. Mm hmm Okay, got it. And, um, sorry, non sequitur. People are asking what I'm eating, and I have to tell you, Jake, I'm eating leftover Katie Michaels soup. Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> didn't she uh, make it? I'm assuming. Yes, no, 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 she I'm didn't assuming make it. antiquated yeah. gender norms, which do yeah. hold true is what you're telling me. Okay, I cool. I do cook plenty in our house, but she 100% made that. She is a better cook. <laughs> no, I'm judging because she wrote on a little post-it all the ingredients, which was really sweet. And I th did. thought that was her handwriting. Yes, uh, <laughs> and I, I think you. we delivered when we found out you were sick and uh, going to have to stay home. We got, um, we got you some soup, and we also got you something else in there too, didn't we? You got oh. tea, uh, tea, decaf oh, tea. Earl Grey with, yeah. with honey, which was brewed by hand. Yeah, and by hand. 
Uh, green napkins, which I gave back. Uh, they're lovely. I washed them. Don't worry. Yes. The <laughs> what was it? Oh, Dayquil, Nyquil. Y'all, Jake Michaels is a great friend. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> I wish I had a. <laughs> I need a sound cue. I need I know, a sound yeah. cue. <laughs> I'm the only other one applauding, and I'm the one that's supposed to be applauding for. No chance uh, applauding. The uh, the uh, there was an ingredient list I think we put on your soup, and an ingredient list for the tea, and then I think it fell off. But there was also a post-it note for the ingredient list on the bread, which was just bread. Oh no, I missed it. And I'm <laughs> yeah. so sad. Yeah, that's a good bit. Yeah, that did fall off. Yeah. The bread bad. was delicious. I think I that had was some a delivery today. boy problem. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad the Katie Michael soup has helped you. Um, I highly recommend a good vegetable soup. I'll put I'll put the ingredients in our Discord. So if you want to join the Good Time Society Discord, you can find it there. I'll put it in after the show. Oh, snap. Look, I would call out the link in chat, but I know Nightcat's gonna beat me to it. Yeah, so, someone's gonna do it. All right, <laughs> let's let's uh let's get a rematch going here. Andy did. Okay, I'm waiting for Jake. Yeah, it's my turn. I'm looking at my options here. Uh, let's, you know, I never really miser very well, so let's try it. I'm gonna try a miser. Oh, ooh, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh, well. How come? Well, cause. Traveling fair makes interesting options. Actually, that's fine. I, I couldn't afford to do traveling fair yet. But traveling fair allows you to put cards on top of your deck when you buy them. I'm so torn between workshop and silver. Yeah, workshop's nice. I would probably, t I mean, free advice from your enemy, but workshop's nice to just get the silvers a churning. I, I, I did, yeah. Because I can yeah. buy something up to four, so technically mm -hmm. it's worth more. Okay, now I got four to work with. Oh, there is a miser. But Miser just takes time to get going, and Moneylender is just like flat out three bucks for a copper. I'm patient. All right, I think we have a similar deck then. Um, I'm going to split it up by going to a farming village. Sarah, what goes into your Zupa Tus Tuscana? Also, are you Italian? <laughs> I love Italy. Um, mm, I only have one action, but two action cards. Not liking these options. Uh, let's go workshop into a menagerie. Then I have one copper of which I will buy. Do I actually buy a copper? That seems stupid. Let's try it. I normally never buy coppers, but I think if there's a miser in the game, I might try it. Ah. Oh, it's reminding me up top that you've added a menagerie and a copper. That's pretty cool. So I've got a miser and I will put copper down. That means I only have three to work with, but I don't even care. Yeah, three's, three's a good number. Menagerie gives me an action and a card. That's pretty awesome. Potentially three cards. But I'm going to get a silver. I'm also going to put a copper away. For a rainy day! Um, and we silver. Mmm, salted shredded chicken and mushroom soup with fluffy white bread. <gasps> and enough garlic to kill a small rodent. Garlic is so good for you. Okay, I can only do one action, miser or workshop. Yeah, I had that issue. Ugh. I think... I'll go for workshop. and a menagerie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I only have one little treasure and... Gosh, now the... I'm conflicted. I have what a miser, you... but yeah. I chose not to get a copper. See, now I'm wondering, I think what I'm gonna do, because I have a workshop, I'm gonna get another miser. Because if I do it right, the miser's gonna be worth a lot. Fingers crossed. You're gonna crush me with these misers and now I see, I see the writing on the wall. Oh, what? It's too, no, it's too early. There's no writing yet. It's merely chicken scratches at this point. The prophecy has not yet been written back out. I'm interested in a farming village. <laughs> I'd like to see what they have to offer. Yeah. 
You sound like a LA real estate agent right now. <laughs> I am interested in a farming village. I would like to see what they have to offer. I hear bees are very in vogue. <laughs> Well, uh, you thought you saw the writing on the wall. I mean, I I have another one coin turn, which I don't want. So I'm just gonna end my buys. I bought Ouch. nothing. Yeah, that hurt. I've got only copper, silver, and estates in hand. Oh, but you got four bucks. So there's no way to, oh, money lender. No, we, can, we can't trash anything that is not copper in this that game. That is true. I don't think there are other trash mechanics in this game. No, so we'll not. have to hang on to the other ones. But Artificer allows us to get rid of stuff in our hands that we could use it for other things. And if you play Council Room, you could just draw a boatload of cards and not care. Hmm. Traveling Fair gives me more buys. Mm -hmm. Gosh, this is hard. Workshop, gain a card costing up to four. Traveling Fair notably allows you to put the card that you purchased on top of your deck as well. Yeah, I took another Miser. Okay. Um, I only have one action. <sighs> um, let's do a workshop and let's gain another farming village. Ooh, farming village is plus two actions. Shout let's out to Namitz silver. Blitz, who is deeply surprised. Uh, at, at seeing Dominion on Twitch. Look, there's everything on Twitch, y'all. There's hot tubs on Twitch. Sorry, don't go to the hot tubs right now. Don't go to hot I watched a hot tub stream the other day just because I needed to know, and guess what? It was not good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't imagine. It wasn't of value to me. Why don't you just no. play board games or uh, video games in a swimsuit? Yeah, I don't are, need the there. water there. There's plenty of things on Twitch that are for hyper specific needs. Not ours. Yeah, it didn't it didn't make sense to me, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what do I do? <laughs> Migs asks Jake hot stub stream stream when? Uh, when I get a hot tub, probably. <laughs> We'll have a floating table so I can start playing board games on it. Look, I'm not interested in any of this madness. Well, I mean, silver is always good news. Moneylender I, will get yeah. rid of your coppers faster. Um, I can't go Moneylender if I already went Miser. It's either or. I can't okay. I can't back down now. Okay. Bauer says, Becca, you caught my hot tub stream on the wrong day. <laughs> uh, this same person who is like the second most popular Twitch streamer. I just want to know what else happens on Twitch. That's why I was doing my research. And there was a a sleep stream. Like 10 oh, yeah. hours of sleep sleeping. Streams. And nothing, it wasn't interesting mm -hmm. for me. There, uh, who, do you know who that was? I don't want to say. It's like oh. second biggest one. I forgot what she's called. Well, there is a, there is a dude right now. I think maybe he ended it, but he was doing like, he was going to stream for a year technically, including his sleep. <laughs> Just leave it on the whole time. Play I mean, game that's interesting because that's <laughs> yeah art. Yeah, that's a that's a journey. That's it's either art or a cry for help. Yeah. Oh man, I did that thing you did, <laughs> where mm -hmm. I used the miser, yeah. and you're giving up a turn when you do that. So there's not a lot of cards here that provide plus one actions. It's only really farming village. So there's less options we have. I see. This changes things. Mm. So there you go. So if I do traveling fair, it only applies to the current turn. Is that right? That is correct. Mm. Which you shouldn't do now because you only have $2. Right. Yeah. Put a copper. Sure. And then I can buy nothing. Uh, all right, we're making our miser stronger. It's yeah. A slow go. Uh, I regret going miser. Yeah. He, it's not a fun life. No. Yeah, we chose this way. 
<laughs> this is shitty. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've gotten rid of all of our coins, right? But now our I, miser. I, I object to you building a kingdom that doesn't let you trash estate cards. Oh, okay. Noted. I'll uh, I'll do that for our final game. Yeah, we can't. We gotta. We can't do just two. That's wrong. It's either one or three. Those are the options. Okay. You got it. In life. I I I love trashing, so I'm with you. I'm playing farming village. Farming village. He is missing all the treasures. Gold, true. Nice. Look at that. Back up to five cards. Oh, and seven dollars. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So Haunted Woods is a one-time action. That sounds less than ideal. Yeah, it's just an action card. Yeah, but at like a single use. Card, mm -hmm. action, one coin. Yeah. I went Artificer. Ooh, I think that's a good move. Because then you can get rid of the stuff that you're not using in your hand. Artificer's pretty cool. I was tempted to get one too, but I've had few turns with more than four dollars. Mm, yeah, and the workshop just lets you buy things for, for four. Yeah. Um. I guess that's a way to get around your one buy, though. You take it and you gain you a card. It. You don't that's buy right. a card. Mm -hmm. As I you are looking at right now. I feel like I actually maybe just keep going down the miser trail, but that seems insane. Miser's miser is like miser does. <laughs> uh, let's just take a silver. It's a safer bet. Um, we have an annoying amount of money though. Tuere says, "I thought it would be fun to stream, but then I remember how socially awkward and introverted I am. You know." There's a weird thing that happens on Twitch, I think, where people who are introverted in a lot of respects or situations feel like it's their space to be themselves, which is really cool. Um, yeah. But I think that's kind of for introvert extroverts, people who are like switch hitters, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of stand by the theory. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I think everybody's a mix of both. And it's really what how easily you can get into either mode. And some people struggle to get into other modes in different environments, you know? Maybe. I mean. find with my mindset, I can become one or the other. And it yeah. is uh, variable for me. But I think yeah. that I'm I'm an I'm an innie outie belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Doris Rylestar says, I am not an introvert. Like you expert. can be like people that are super introverted in crowded situations or among strangers might be a little more in extroverted around really close friends or their family and might be have like a little bit of that. It doesn't mean they have to go be a stage performer at the extrovert level or anything like that. Yeah. And uh, simultaneously, a lot of people that are super extroverted definitely need their own alone time in their own environment, which is kind of an introverted nature. So, yeah, I feel like there's just two sides. And it's just a matter of your ability to transition, right? I agree with all that. I also heard it described once as, um, are you are you like filled up by social interaction or are you drained by social interaction? Yeah. And I also find that that changes given the circumstance. But What type of social interaction? Can I tell you, you a, a new super deep secret? It's not a secret. It's just a piece yeah. of advice that I gave myself. Uh, something I came up with kind of combined with advice from Jameson Stone, which is to um, when ego is getting in the way of you doing things or like you're too aware of yourself, which is the problem that I, I find gets me yeah. into a weird spiral sometimes to project that further outward and give away your image of self to other people. And then it's less about you. Of like, here's the self and push it out here. And that's my super secret, super, super secret secret that uh, I've been what, playing with What do you lot. mean by that? Do you mean be more open with how uncomfortable you are? What do you mean by put yourself out? I mean, don't worry about the way that people see you. But for me, I needed this visualization of myself, my like ego as this like ball mm -hmm. of energy. Mm -hmm. And instead of letting it be really close to my chest and very guarded to like let it live out in front of me. Sure. Yeah. And that imagery is very helpful to me to remember to like focus on other people. Ah, OK. I see that. Also, like it's if you also look at it like of yourself out there, you're not judging that ball harshly. So why would anyone else? Yeah. Right? Thank yeah, you. That. that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, exactly. I like that. 
I'll take that. Um, all right, back to my introverted turn here. <laughs> I've tried traveling fair. Um, I'm not sure why, but you know what? Let's try traveling fair and let's get a council room. I always love council room. We're gonna top deck it. And we're gonna end our buys. Okay, it's my turn. I'm gonna play farming village first because it gives me an additional action. And then I drew another one, so I'm gonna play another farming oh, village. No. And then with my one action, I'll play a miser. No, you and, should have a plenty of actions. Yeah. You have two more. Oh, I do? Well, because Farming Village gives you two actions. But doesn't it take an action to play it? It took you. Okay, so it took your first action, bringing you to zero. And then by playing it, you gained two. Then you played the second one, bringing oh, you down to one. Oh, it gained two actions. Sorry, that's the part I was missing. Yeah. Okay, so I could add one copper right now and get one, two, three, five, six, seven to play with. Or I could spend one and have only four to play with. Oh, my math was wrong there. Let's add one. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll have six. Okay. Well, six is a good number. Six is a great number. Mm -hmm. Oh, another artificer. Okay. That's a that's a good move. We're in a council room, which gives you. Oh, <gasps> you got a council room? Yeah, it Plus gives you a card. Cards? And I foolishly just got a bunch of stuff I don't need. But what I did gain was nine dollars cool which means we're buying i think our first province of the game okay i'm gonna play an artificer finally discard up to six cards and then i'm gonna get one coin per discarded card now keep in mind you still have an action so uh depending on what you are choosing to discard here you might want to use those cards i don't know what's in your hand I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna play a menagerie. Oh, hold on. Ugh. Yeah, gotta choose that first. You can hit undo. Okay, so I'm gonna discard. For those of you that are all talking about like interactions and stuff like that, I also find that like when you, if you wanna push into your more extroverted nature and try to find those boundaries a little bit more, going online and starting there is great because it's, you can kind of escape in any way. You don't have to tell everybody goodbye at the end of the party. <laughs> and also, you, you know, you, you're, you may just be on voice. You don't have to actually be on camera or anything like that. It's a oh. good stepping stone. I love, is it, is it wrong to call it an Irish goodbye? <laughs> oh, no, I, it's, I call it a French exit, Irish. It's, French it's, exit. Nas it's yeah. country plus a, a departure. A nationalistic <laughs> departure. Danish yeah. departure. Let's yeah. just call it a national <laughs> departure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I love that. That's the best. Um, I love doing that. For those of you that don't know what a French exit is, it's simply when you leave the party without saying goodbye. Now, there's a little bit more to the detail of it, but it's the psychological trick of like people have, if their last memory of you is saying goodbye, they tend to have like a negative rem remembrance of that moment for a brief instant. Even if they're your best friend and love you dearly, it's still like, oh, they left, as opposed to they're still having a good time. You haven't interrupted the party at all. And suddenly, Oh, that person's not here anymore. Oh, that's I still remember th that awesome conversation I had an hour ago with them. Yeah, you don't have to say goodbye. It's a magical thing. Yeah. To realize. Okay, I just comboed off and I don't even want to tell you what I did. <laughs> well, I can look it up in the old log. Dear Lord, this turn is like a page long. Uh -huh. Holy cow. Uh, okay, you bought that. You play a market. Oh, you became another menagerie. Oh, damn. Okay, so what okay. happened is I discarded my whole hand to <gasps> the artificer, which gained me five coins. But then all I had left was Menagerie. And Menagerie says if my hand has all different names of cards, then I get three cards. And I only had Menagerie in hand when I played it. Becca, I'm going to drive over to your house right now just to give you a high five. <laughs> That's so good. Thank I you. love that play. Um, I have a not as clever of a turn. It's just really cool. Um, we're going to take four coins from our miser. We're going to play four silver, and we got 12 bucks. 12? That's and, a lot. Uh, and two buys. So what can I do with that? Hmm. I think I still got to buy a province. Let's remember, this is when Becca just ends stream once the game is done. Look, sometimes that happens. 
Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're performing, you don't French exit. You don't do that in theater. You don't just stop the show. <laughs> but I do love that theory. I want to go. I'm doing my turn, but I liked what Sarah said. I find, or I want to just talk about it. I find starting the conversation being hard. Fear of overstepping or of rejection. It's worse when you put yourself out there and still get nothing back. Well, just a conversation trick. People like to talk about themselves, so ask people questions. And ask yes. them good questions. Ask them questions that are make them think about the answer. Not how are you, but like, I, I saw this thing happen. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but wondering how you're feeling about that. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, not like, give me all of your personal information, but like, let me ask you <laughs> something you might actually want to talk about instead of like, let me tell you about what I've been doing. Because, uh, pe not uh, like, let them ask you that. <laughs> yeah. People love talking about themselves. And, and I don't mean that in a judgmental way. I mean, we all do. We love talking. Fact. We want to communicate, right? Um, so like be really what'll help with that too. I love this advice, Becca, is like to be a good listener to them too, but like be genuinely interested. Exactly. Don't be politely interested, like really listen to what they're saying and take it in. And then you'll find they'll be very reciprocal to you, uh, generally speaking. Some people won't, but that's okay. They're going to like you for what you did for them, which is you listened. Yeah. That's a great way to start. And if you're not genuinely interested in the answer to the question you just asked, Maybe you don't want to be talking to that person. <laughs> and just French exit out of that conversation. French exit. Just slowly walk It's more away. noticeable in the middle of a conversation, but also acceptable. No, no tell them you just have to say, go. Just say, oh, hold on, I got to dot, 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 and walk away. <laughs> what's the what's the Seinfeld uh, use where you pat your head at the dinner party if, if oh, you're in a conversation you need rescuing from? That's pretty good. Uh, oh, no. I haven't seen enough Seinfeld. Did they get rescued? Uh, no, because both of them were patting their heads at the same time. They didn't notice each other. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure what to play, so we'll do a workshop. Ugh, I have such an ugly hand. Hmm. Wow. I know. I know. Now that's now that's an action combo there. You got it good. I think I'll try a council room. Okay. Uh farming village gets me oh boy, a copper. How amazing. Um <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> so we're just gonna end our buys and have a wasted turn. Oh, Sarah has the Midwestern thing of saying, Welp, and slapping your legs as you stand up. Yes, that <laughs> is. This is the way to say you're ready to leave. <laughs> so good. Okay, I'm playing Farming Village Miser. You know what? If I'm only going to have three coins total, I might take this turn to put a copper down. Thanos782 asks, hello, Becca Scott. Is there any news on when you're doing another Call of Cthulhu adventure? I love your role play streams. Great question. Well, my friend, there will be an in-person Call of Cthulhu. And you know what? I have a screenshot pulled up. You do? Because I, I think I look hot in it. <laughs> <laughs> I love your honesty, Becca. <laughs> you know what? I'm not afraid to tell the truth. Uh, oh, no. I so let me go to the it. hot screenshots folder I have pulled up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it looks like I've recently closed it. We'll go to the history because it's worth it. Trust me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we shot a new adventure that will be out probably in a few weeks, as a matter of fact. Um, keep an eye on the socials for updates on when that'll happen. Full screen, uh, baby. Waiting for Jake. This is oh, the thumbnail cool. you will see. <laughs> is that a... Long cabin behind me. She's Is that describing a her. <laughs> Am I having a great hair day? She's lost in her imagination right there. <laughs> uh, looking into the eyes of the elder gods. I'll tell you nothing except that this is Call of Cthulhu related. Mm -hmm. And I am becoming an elder god. <laughs> oh man, Evil Dead would be great. Yeah, it's going to be a fun group. 
uh, Thanos seven eight two. Thanks for asking. Also, your name reminds me of uh, Becca. Do you remember when we did Thanos Rising at uh, Geek and Sundry years ago? That was a fun game. Don't say it years is- ago. It all is in recent memory to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason I say years ago is because I remember during that shoot we couldn't. The movie hadn't come out yet, so we were unclear if it was Thanos or Thanos for half of the shoot. Oh, do you yeah. remember that? Did we do like a voiceover later? Oh, no, I, you were correcting me on the how to game the whole time. Right, because I had learned it. I had learned it, but it was it's, it looks like Thanos if you have never watched the movie, but now we all know Thanos. it so well. It's pre-snap. I agree, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ms. Roll Sage, what a nice compliment. I wish I had that fucking self-confidence. <laughs> also, you do look on it. Look, I know the power of makeup and hair great lighting and, and yeah. great lighting and a whole team working to make you so, look good i'll take it hey, also that jawline you bought on the black market i did good. thank mm-hmm. you <laughs> that's what kevin our dp always says when i am like that's the power of makeup he's like the jawline though the jaw <laughs> well thanks to my parents for my jawline okay back to the game i have a turn here farming village artificer so if I do Artificer now, it kind of limits other things. So I'm going to go Farming Village first. Ooh, and I have three coppers in hand, which are dirt cards. So I'm going to play an Artificer. Discard up to five cards. Ooh. I have another Artificer. Man. That I will discard. Okay. For a four point buy, right? Actually, hold on. Undo. I'm going to discard my whole hand because I might as well buy something worth five. Even though I have a market card, well, I have yeah. to buy the artificer thing right now. I have to buy uh, the thing. You said you had another artificer in your hand, Becca? Yeah. Well, you could choose. you could choose to discard none of them and see what else you draw. Because if you play the Artificer in the market, you'll each draw another card. I see. So you could choose to discard none of them. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what what happens. You know what I'm saying? Okay, discard up to five cards, decline. Gain a card costing zero or decline. Play another Artificer. And now... Ah, yeah, see. You're probably getting some interesting cards now, hopefully. Yeah, okay. But now, if you play, since you just played Artificer, now you got to do it. Or, I mean, you could also decline again if you want to just play all the cards in your hand. Nah. Uh, Thanos, uh, we're playing Dominion. We gave an explanation at the top of this stream, so you can hop back there on the replay if you would like. Uh, but the essentially, it's a deck builder where we're trying to gain victory points, which are on the green cards that you can see. Irish goodbye is not saying anything. Yeah, essentially, it's it's ditching the party without saying goodbye. You could also be that person. That, I don't know what it's what the name is of the person who has to say goodbye to everyone, and therefore it takes like forty five minutes to get out. Oh man, have another conversation. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Those are tough. Also, generally, if you're gonna go say goodbye to everybody, if you're one of those people, you're probably interrupting a lot of other people's conversations. Which right. Is also, not another way to. Not cool. Leave. You're yeah. not going to get anything else out of the conversation. <laughs> Unless there's yeah. something you have to tell someone that you meant right. to tell them and you didn't. That, that's a really good point, Becca. You're not getting anything else out of it. You're doing small talk, which really can be eliminated at the end of the party Man, anyway. I hate small talk. I like I, big talk. I am not very good at getting out of small talk sometimes. It's something I'm working on. It's hard to transition sometimes when you get into a Jake, cycle of it. I hereby give you permission to <gasps> patch your head when you find yourself in small talk at a party that I am also in attendance at. Becca, the problem is, is what if someone who's talking to me is patting their head? Oh, Jesus. I never <laughs> thought about that. Then you need to tell me later. You're not asking hard <laughs> enough questions, I think. If you're in small <laughs> yeah, talk. I know that's what I, that's what I'm worried about. That's yeah. what I've recently found. I agree. You're not asking interesting enough questions. Yeah, it's just, yeah. We all know what the weather's like. We all the traffic was fine. It doesn't matter. Let's talk about something we're interested in. What's what are you excited about? You know? Unless you're a meteorologist or a traffic <laughs> doctor. Oh, that's just more like. So, what's the pressure like today? A traffic <laughs> doctor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just wave a general goodbye and everyone ignores. So it works out. Oh, Boomy. 
That's because they're in deep, riveting conversations. It's not you're, you're being ignored. It's that they don't want you to leave. And that's why they don't worry about the goodbye. All right, I had a monster turn. Your turn, Becca. Okay, let's log it up. Jake uh, you gotta plays address... a farming village, gets two actions, reveals a menagerie, puts a menagerie in their hand, plays a menagerie, reveals a state of silver council room miser, draws three cards, but this is an insane turn. Um, You should note the score, too, because we're starting to get a bit of a discrepancy here. Oh, I forgot. You know what? <laughs> it's just it's the stupid... <sighs> Well, no, no, but I, I bet you have a deck that could do it now because you've been churning a lot of interesting cards. You have like a couple markets, don't you? And I only have, oh, well, no, you don't. Uh, you might have some options. You have those artificers, which could gain you stuff too. So we'll see. <laughs> My hand's insane now. <laughs> I just don't get invited to parties. Problem solved. Yeah, that would solve that problem. That's true. Don't don't go to parties. Okay. I have just drawn my entire hand. <laughs> Night cat. Night cat. I just saw you said that weather isn't small talk in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> How was your marmite this morning? Oh my god. I know. What was that? You have 11 cards in your hand? What is happening right now? A lot. You have three more actions? You're like, <laughs> what is going on? Oh, jeez. What do you do when you receive the where are you call after an Irish goodbye? Bit awkward. Oh. I think this is a good what? opportunity to, to Did you explain. say I left? Well, unless you gave them a ride, none of their business. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are you? I'm, I'm stranded in the woods now. Uh, first off, you don't need to answer the phone until tomorrow, at which point, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and secondly, if you want to answer the phone, let them know that you're safe, which is good. Uh, you can just say, we had to go. Um have a great time. <laughs> teach them about the Irish goodbye. Yeah, teach them a Say, good lesson. Tell them psychologically, you're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> Studies show you don't mind that I'm gone. <laughs> Studies show this is no big deal. Uh, all right, I got a workshop. Or just say, none of your beeswax and there hang up. I like that plan too. Okay, so. Oh, she's getting points. Man, that was a crazy turn you had. Was it? You gained a province and a duchy? Yeah. That's nine points in one turn. Yeah, but. Yeah, but you I couldn't get this. two provinces in a single turn, I found mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Well, you can if you got 16 gold, but good luck. Hmm. I want my turn to go off again. Mimit's Blitz, how old is your new child? Congratulations. As a relatively new parent, I'm dreading children's parties. Nothing worse than small talk with parents of other small people. Again, par well, parents are actually a really good example, especially new parents, because they'll want to talk about their kids because that's all they experience all the time. <laughs> and uh, you'll find that a lot of new parents, kind of their identity seeps away for some time. Yeah. And the, it's their identity becomes about their child's life and so it's helpful to what they would like to probably talk about and don't always know that they can is themselves so try and take advantage of like what are you looking forward to getting into when they're a little bit more self-sustaining or like looking a little bit forward beyond just this moment of them being new parents Amen. right Becca? oh goodness <laughs> me yeah 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 uh that's a hard one it That's is a hard. hard one, Jake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember going to a wedding a little a few mm, year ago, and every person I talked to was a parent of young kids, and that is all I talked about with any of these people who I was meeting for the first time. It was my sure. husband's college friends. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, this makes me not sure if I want kids because oh. I'll never <laughs> have a conversation about anything else. Oh, no, but see. I think it's a conscious choice. I could choose yes. to never talk about my child. To, well, was, I, except to other parents that really want to talk about it. <laughs> I think it's a, 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 
unconscious choice too, because it's it's kind of hard to not have your identity wrapped in something that takes up so much of your brain space throughout the day. So it's understandable, <laughs> but it's important. Becca or Katie and I have, have said this to each other. It's like, we're not going to let our identities become just parents. Once we're parents, like we're going to still do our own thing and make sure we can go out and pursue our own dreams. And I think Aww. every parent should do that. I, I yeah, I'm with someone you, who interacts with your non-parent self quite a bit, even though I'm excited to be an auntie. I appreciate that you two came to that conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, Love that. that's important. For yeah, us, I think. totally. I, and then whenever I meet a parent who can't not talk about their kid, I do pointedly ask them about themselves. And it's 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 interesting to watch the, the gymnastics of them still turning it back into their kid. Oh, my God. Totally. Also, shout out to the parents in chat. What up? Yeah, you're raising a child and you're doing a great job. I hope you're doing a great probably, job. Probably you are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm still, so what I have found with our particular kingdom is that I just need to milk my turns to get as many actions as possible. <laughs> okay. So that's what I am trying to do. I mean, the game, Dominion rapidly becomes about how can I get eight coins, essentially, because that's kind of the magic number for those provinces. But you're okay, doing quite one, well. One, two, five three, more four, cards five, six. Here. Miser, plus two coins. Jeez. Play treasures. You we got the eight. Got oh, province. she did it. She's creeping back up. She's <sighs> three points behind. Damn. Damn. Oh, um, the mid's blitz. Can't wait till she plays Dominion and MTG with me. You know what? We should definitely um, get on the Patreon rewards and have a game day for patrons because Dude, uh, if you are there. a patron, one, I love you. Thank you so much. Two, you deserve some perks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've done a behind the scenes video and we have behind the scenes the videos for upcoming stuff we've recorded like that Cthulhu game that will go only on Patreon. But um, yeah, we've been pretty wrapped up in uh, pre taped content and haven't had as much time to do like yeah. fun stuff like that. So uh, but speaking of fun stuff, actually, that we haven't had time for to boldly watch is going to return tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow. I know I haven't yeah. posted a flyer because we had this and we had the breach video. So, yeah, I, I, you stuff. know, I only want to give people one tasks, one task at a time. <laughs> um, but I think that tomorrow morning is a good time to post and tell everybody to boldly watch is tomorrow. Yeah, that's uh, with our good friend Xander Genre. It'll be on here at noon. Look, I'm not saying call out of work, but like do what you got to do. But French exit out of work. Don't tell your boss <laughs> goodbye and get online and see the show. Exactly. Okay, I played Menagerie, which gave me a new card. I'm playing Farming Village. And now my hand consists of all different named cards. What? Oh, that only cares about Menagerie. Ugh, boo. Okay. Hold on. Oh, if since I've looked at cards, I'd have to have your permission to undo. I should have played will... those in the opposite order. Yeah, I'll give you permission. This is a friendly game. Okay. The Becca has requested to undo one decisions. I accept. Wait, one more. <laughs> I'm I'm just playing the thing. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I didn't have that <laughs> card in my hand. Just kidding. Okay. Bad form. Bad form. Oh my goodness, you farming village fanatic. That's correct. Wait, there is only one farming village left. What is going on? <laughs> I took them all. You did. You bought like seven of them. I'll take that one too. <laughs> Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. <gasps> no. You have three actions still, though. No. Yeah, but I can only get seven coins with the miser. Damn it. I think we just got to do what we can do. Get a duchy. <laughs> Night cat, the time between birth and when brain is good enough for games is a complete waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you I've thought about this a lot. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Becca, I just imagine you looking at your own baby like, hurry up. <laughs> just dealing cards to him until he replies. And that was in response to Nimitz Blitz saying, that's why you have kids, so you can DM them and crush them in board games. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so not wrong. How'd the miser work out for you? Well, I'm about to get four coins just for playing it. 
That's cool for you. And then I'm so going to play some more treasures to get second to the last province of the game back up. <sighs> yeah, it's not looking good. I know. But I have a feeling you like this game. Yeah. 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 There's there's like ten other expansions too. We haven't even begun to explore. Okay. I'm gonna play menagerie and get three cards. And then farming village. Heard... And then market. <laughs> and then council room. And then menagerie. And then farming village. You're <laughs> oh, and now I've only got treasures. So we've got 11 of them. We'll take that last province. Shoot! I needed 12. Damn it. <sighs> well, <sighs> that's how it goes. If the stream just ended without us saying goodbye, I'd be very upset. <laughs> I feel like we have but to But thematically it. I'd be very happy. I have to we have to no, we got to we got to no. do it now. We, oh. That's how comedy works. If you show <laughs> and your bias, the gun. And okay, cool. Well, well good games, uh, Becca. Yeah, really good games. I mean, um we played 3 times and so I guess we should play 3 more times or best we of played, 5. To be clear, we played twice. Did you want one more? Yes. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay, um, I think we could just hit rematch and see. Let's see what the game gives us. Hold on. I don't want the same kingdom. Oh, then actually here, I'll do one. I think you can, another good thing about D Dominion Online, I think you can choose to have a trashing mechanic in the game. I want trash. Oh, did you invite me to a game? Uh, abandon. Okay. I clicked rematch and that's why I was in Got charge. It. I really like um, the setup. Lots of combos going on. Tackle yeah, Mirror that was Jesus. a fun one. All right, rules, uh, kingdom modifiers include trashing, include plus two actions. You want to do no attacks so we don't have antagonism? No. Okay, so we'll leave that open. So let's try it. Let's just see what that produces for us. Here. Do I want to not antagonize? I'm going to try a random one with at least some trashing and some plus action. We did go off on so many tangents that I forgot how many games we'd actually played. <laughs> There's a lot of channel points predictions about who will be the VP, and I think that there was already a v v who will be the VP VIP. Victory points, very important person. And Jake has won. Can you, can you join my game? Did you invite me? I think so. No. Okay, I'm going to abandon this weird game that got glitched. One second. Bye, Sarah. Oh. Oh. Wait, hold on. You're not Ugh. supposed to say goodbye. Uh, what have we been talking about? I always Irish exit out of a Twitch chat. Not going to lie. Yeah. Because I want them the to think way. that maybe I stuck around. Yeah. Maybe you're still there. All I, right. Now try it... joining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. You're not there. Did it work? It's not there. What is happening? I uh, don't know. All right, one more try. Let me create game, players, Becca, uh, kingdom, modifiers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, create. And yeah, it doesn't show it. <laughs> what happened? Let's exit and rejoin. Yeah, okay. Resetting. Here we go, game three. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Do you see it? In your main I room. didn't exit. Now I will. I didn't think I was the problem. But sometimes you said us. You said we. So I assumed. Oh, I have three games now. Oh, great. Um, the most recent one, I guess. Oh yeah. Well, the other two were abandoned, but now I can see. 
all the games that we didn't know were there. Join? Waiting. Okay, it did it. Okay. Oh, cool. Should this we is a great go one. through it? Let's start yeah, let's at do the it. top. Do, uh, okay, no, that doesn't make sense. Start with peasant. Yeah, peasant. Peasant's crazy because it's plus one buy, plus one coin. But then there's a line. The line is is different from the action. It says it's just like an effect. When you discard this from play, as in at the end of your turn, you may exchange it for a soldier. And then you'll see there's a soldier over there. On you may the, on the right. exchange for a fugitive. You may exchange for a disciple. You, you may exchange it. for a teacher. Okay. So there's we'll skip all these because you can kind of look at them. But look at teacher. Teacher's pretty cool. Right click on teacher. This is the this is where this this journey leads. Uh, you have to right click on the teacher uh, that way. Yep. Uh, you you simply put it on your tavern mat when you play it. Then that's your action. But at the start of your next turn, or actually the start of any turn, you may call this, which uh, brings it back into your discard. And then you move a token, either either plus one card, plus one action, plus one buy, or plus one coin to any action supply to pile that you have no tokens on. And then whenever you play that card, you get that bonus as well. So you could make a card also have plus one action or you can make a card also have plus one coin for you. Like if you took the plus one token, Becca, okay, and put it. it on, yeah, cool. And I'll ha I have four of those possible tokens to move around. Yes, yeah. Okay, interesting. Rat catcher, plus one card, plus one action. Do Sorry, you know I, mean? I was no sweat. checking out the other ones. Rat catcher. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Back catcher. Catcher. Plus one card, plus one action. Put it on your tavern mat. At the start of your turn, you may call this to trash a card from your hand. Cool. So you, yeah, you just bring it back into your deck and then it trashes a card with it. Cool. Amulet's another great card. Now, and at the start of and at the start of your next turn, you do to choose an option. Either plus one coin, trash a card from your hand, or just gain a silver. And now this is a now duration it's all card. All trash options. <laughs> yeah, I know it's crazy how many trash options there are. Uh, notably, amulet happens twice, so you do it once when you play it, and then at the start of your next turn, you'll get its ability again too. Caravan oh. plus plus one card, plus one action at the start of your next turn, plus one coin, and then it's a reaction card too, like the moat or the horse traders. Whenever another player plays an attack card, you may first play this from your hand, so cool. you actually get to react that way. Um, Vassal is plus two coins, and then you discard the top card of your deck. If it's an action card, you can play it. Cool. Duplicate. You put this on your tavern mat. When you call, a, when you gain a card costing up to six, you may call this to gain a copy of that card. Oh. Yeah, so if you bought a gold and you have a duplicate on your tavern mat, you could call it and you get two gold. Cool. Farming Village, we already talked about. Ranger is a fun one. Plus one buy and turn your to journey token over. It starts face up. Then, if it's face up, plus five cards. So obviously the first time you play Ranger, nothing will happen except for your plus one buy. The second time you play Ranger, you'll get plus one buy, plus five coins. Cool, yeah, very cool. So overall, everything costs less this game. That's just the way it shook out. Oh it yeah, like. yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Just bringing, bringing that to note. Because we didn't yeah, end up yeah. buying a lot of the second row last time. Yeah, that was kind of a, well, it's because we misered so early, so we got rid of our economy so quickly, I think. We. we <laughs> Transmogrify plus one action. Put this on your tavern mat. At the start of your turn, you may call this to trash a card from your hand and gain a card to your hand, costing up to one more than it. Boy, there are a lot of trashing options. Yeah. And finally, Sentry. This is a, a great trashing card. Plus one card, plus one action. Look at the top two cards of your deck, trash and or discard any number of them, then to put the rest back on top of any order. So cool. Sentry's like a scryer. You get to kind of like look at your deck and do decide what you want to do. I love it. it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play. Okay. Gosh, and I have four copper, so I have to get something good. I mean, again, I, I understand you're optimizing of like, if you have four, you should try and spend four, but sometimes a good three card is good early on, regardless of how much money you have. Yeah, yeah. That said, you'd be an idiot not to buy four. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one buy though. So what's it gonna be? Gandalf. Ooh, transmogrify, okay. Thanks for watching out for those YouTube spam bots, Nightcat. Uh, I also have four and one buy. Um, gosh, duplicate would be kind of fun this early. Let's try that. Get out of here, okay. Oh. I have three boring coppers. 
Uh, you should also note Borrow and Traveling Fair, which are our two events. Traveling Fair, you already know about, but Borrow is interesting. It costs zero, so it does cost you a buy, but no coins. And then you get a buy, so you get it back. And then you put a minus one card token on your deck, which means you'll draw a minus one card at the end of your turn. But then you get a coin. So it's like, I'll draw one Auto less card. Copper. Auto copper, essentially, yeah. Okay, with my three, I bought an amulet. Go ahead. Yeah, amulet's a very good card. I know. Um, which is why I'm tempted to buy it too. Vassal's kind of fun. Geekstron asked how the vid was going, meaning my contracting of COVID. And I am feeling much better, thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, up to snuff, up to snuff, I'd say. That's the first time I've heard vid abbreviated that way. I always you know, it was video. My buddy Dan did it. And uh, <laughs> if you ever saw the video for Big Trouble in Little China, the man who g giggles more than anyone I've ever met, um, <laughs> he called it the vid, and I thought it was funny. <laughs> he, not to out people, but everyone who went to this wedding we went to. Did y'all y'all got it? We all got it. Oh, I'm sorry. We all got it. Uh, your turn. What? It says wait for Jake. Oh, Jake's turn. What'd you? Uh, she went so fast. Oh, you bought a peasant. Okay, I cool. bought a peasant. I'm sorry, I missed two copper. That. Duplicate goes away. I have three copper, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we buy a caravan guard and gain a copy of it with our duplicate. Okay. I'm going to play an amulet. Do I trash a card? Do I gain a silver? It's so good. I should have bought another one. Or do I get a coin? Gosh. Choices, choices. She took a silver. She did. She has four dollars still. Hmm. Is this the original Dominion, just Dominion Digital? Never played, really interested in learning it. Uh, it is not always a two player game. I think it goes up to five or six, maybe just four online. Oh, um, very fun. Yeah, uh, there's, uh, there's an expansion called Prosperity, which also uh, has uh, eight point cards, call or actually there might be 10 point cards called Colonies and uh, platinum cards, which are worth five coins. Uh, so that can kind of increase the capacity of it. It's a very learnable game and it's f there's a base version free on Steam. So you should go check it out. Sure. Okay. Get a second amulet. This is our third game of the day. And this gonna be a good one. Oh, me, I get to choose amulet again. Right, so amulet replays itself at the top of your next turn, which is nice. Okay, uh, so. What am I gonna do with four coppers? Do I want five? <laughs> I'll take an, I'll take five. And then we'll play Transmogrify. And then I'll play my treasures and I'll get a sentry. Your turn. Ooh, a sentry. That's a great card. Uh, Caravan Guard. And then I'll go into Amulet Town. I think I'll just gain a s gain a silver this turn, and then we'll play our treasures. I'm gonna try a vassal. I never play vassals. Try that. Going for the vassal. I have a transmogrify triggered ability. Oh, uh, trash yeah. a card from your hand and gain a card, costing up to one more. You <gasps> can always choose to do that. You can also decline if you don't want to trash a card from your hand. And if you ever want to see what a card is worth, you can just right click it and its worth is on the bottom left. Yeah. So a copper could be one, a silver could be four. Critter Nation 3000, thank you for the tier one sub and hello, my friend. Good to see you. 
Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching, Becca. Decide. I took a She's duplicate. Trapped. Yeah, duplicate's great. Oh, and you got it to your hand. Oh, so you can play it. Oh, oh that's that cool. changes everything. Now you only have one action left, so I don't know how many action cards you have in your hand, but I that's really cool you get it to your hand. I forgot about that. All right, so she played it to her tavern mat. So anytime you buy a card now, you could duplicate that purchase. Uh-oh, only one copper though? I don't want anything. Oh uh, yeah, that's smart. Smart to hold on to it. Never spend one copper. Save and invest in quality, everyone. That is my advice to you. Um, Critter right. Nation, thank you for 41 months of subs. Appreciate you. And why are we not hearing a sub alert sound? Boop, 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 boop. I think that our alerts have gone bonkers. I bet the jazz just cut them down. No. Jazz is I too know. smooth. Dave Flegel, you said it's up to four players. I think it's four players digital. Is there a six player variant in Prosperity? I can't remember. I feel like there is, but I could be wrong. Ah, my Streamlabs changed all around. Oh, there it is. This is a test. <laughs> that alert is hilarious, Becca. The Becca Scott, this is a test. There it is. Okay. It's my turn, and I'm going to play a farming village. That gives me another card and another turn, so my hand's kind of lame. Once that peasant gets working, though, you never know. Yeah. You know what? Amulets are so much fun. I'll also remind you, if you're ever a coin short for what you want to buy, borrow. borrow. Yeah, borrow's pretty cool for that. That's a really good point. I will exchange my peasant for a shoulder. Soldier. I will. <laughs> a shoulder of pork. <laughs> um, all right. So we can play four coins and get double a card. Do we get two farming villages? Did you buy a farming village already? You did, so this would be my first one. I'll do it and I'll buy another one. Okay, my turn. I'm jealous of your sentry. That's a good one. Oh, this sentry I'm playing right now? Are you about to play it? I'm going to discard nice. an estate. So be careful. Watch the um, watch the prompts to make sure you're doing it because it'll say, do you want to trash or discard or rearrange? Oh, well, let me just discard then. Do I dare trash an estate? I trash an estate with my something yeah but it wasn't from my hand so i'll just discard it now sure. we'll play an amulet oh gosh discarding them is just as nice because it keeps gives you the point and it just gets it out of your hand potentially yeah i'm gonna trash a copper okay okay and now more amulets <laughs> okay okay I know you like jewelry, but this is getting excessive. <laughs> I'm saving my duplicate for later. Um. Oh, this is a nice hand. Look at this. I have two coins for my caravan guards last turn, and then I have all coins in my hand for a perfect eight. Get out of town. Ah. <laughs> I hate it, okay? Yeah, I'm not going to get that lucky all the time, though. I haven't really trashed anything, even though I said I was going to. Yeah, I'm gonna go hard to the trash. Yeah. Oh, you didn't exchange your peasant, did you? Oh, no, you did. I see. I see. Your okay. turn. I, um, I didn't buy anything good. I just got another peasant. Well, I'm gonna have a pretty lame turn too, unless I abscond. Let's see. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try vassal. Uh, it failed. Damn it. All right. Then okay. we'll just grab 
another silver. Oh, I could borrow. I could borrow. Ooh, borrowing's good. Uh, I want to win one. You might. It mean I'm take not. A dive. I'm not in a good spot. No, I will never. <laughs> You, you, would, you and I would never do that to each other because it would ruin the other person's you know, win. You it know would. It would. Yeah. We know that. that That's why I we think can that play would, this. That'd be one of the most egregious things we could do to each other is It'd take a dive. It'd be hurtful. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be... More hurtful a, than a any real, of the insults you've thrown. Just a diss. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. a total <laughs> diss. Okay, I did trash one of my estate cards. Okay. Gain a card cost, costing... Oh, I forgot what that did. Well, that's a good one to do because you can gain like up to a three cost card. Okay, you know what I need? Have you ever taken a dive playing a board game? I don't think I have, no, because I just, I'm too into- I've cared less about life. winning. Yeah, or I've played a entertain. reckless strategy to find out what was possible, knowing that someone else who was less experienced was gonna try an optimal strategy. That was kind of fun, but never taken a dive. No. Would never, could never. Dominion is the best game. Yeah, I agree, Dominion's a blast. She's centering again. Trashing too. Oh, I foolishly borrowed last turn. I kind of regret that now. Okay, I only have two more actions. Uh. Oh, what does Soldier do? Plus one for other attack you have in play. Other players with four or more cards in hand discard. Oh. Yeah, I have to discard a card. How rude of me. Yeah. Okay, so I could only get up to five this turn. Chose to gain silver instead. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I play out my treasure. And I'll take another caravan guard. Will not duplicate it. Okay. Ooh, trigger my ability to exchange for fugitive, of course, naturally. Um, I only have four dollars, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna traveling fair a rat catcher to the top of my deck. Justin, I agree. I have taken dives in magic playing with new people. I just do a turn, not an optimal turn. Magic is a more enticing to take a Ooh. dive because it can go on for a long time. Important question from Infinite Minds. Let me put you to full screen as you tell us who is the Jake Michaels. Oh, you want me to tell you who I am? Yeah, I'm Jake Michaels. I'm Becca's colleague and producer and director here at Good Time Society. And I write uh, all the main scripts we do for the How to Games. And not to mention, I play a whole boatload of games with Becca. Boom, boom. That's boom. who he is. That's me. Okay, it's my turn. Trigger ability, Caravan Guard and Amulet. I'm gonna do Caravan Guard first because it draws a card. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, what am I gonna do? Let's try and get our coins up maybe. I'm so torn. <laughs> that's good. That means you are you have good decisions ahead of you. Amulets, mm -hmm. that's why I like Amulets so much is they're all really good options pretty much always. And none of them are, uh, like, if you can't use two of them, you can probably use the third. God, you sentry again. So smart. I haven't been able to afford a five-point card. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I have a province. I shouldn't be whining. <gasps> Ooh, we're going to play a fugitive. What does a fugitive do? You just kind of split it down. Oh, mm, okay. Oh, but Maybe she's so close to teacher now. Yeah. Let's see. Transmogrify will give me another action, so we'll go with that. Caravan Guard gives me another action. And now I've got two more actions and two more action cards in hand. Oh my god. So, One of these. Okay, I was hoping I'd be able to get me a province this time around, but it's not going to work out because I have two coins, two coppers in hand. 
and two more amulets, so I can only get up to six. So let's go ahead and take them all. Remember, you can also borrow. I know that'll leech you. Oh, seven, that's but... really good. That's a good point. Okay, so now I'm at six, so I'm gonna buy a gold and finally use my duplicate. Oh, nice use of that. Good job. And now I change my fug fugitive for a disciple. Oh, I like that. Hmm, okay, farming village, I threw a duplicate in, I threw a rat catcher away, and that leaves me with five coins. I can finally buy a sentry. I will, and I'll gain a copy of it too with my duplicate. Duplicate. Okay, I get to trigger a bunch of abilities here. Let's start. Come on, Jake, with... all my points are riding on you. Oh boy, all right, here we go. Uh, Geek, I just noticed you said we need more how-tos with Becca. We have several in the works. In fact, there was one released today for The Breach by Heck Ludus yeah. Magnus. You can go check it out on Good Time Society's YouTube channel. And uh, there's plenty more on the way. And we're actually filming one later this week, too. She's transmogrifying something. Like I said, there's not a lot of magic in this game, but I think this is one of the few expansions that has some. Most of it is pretty neutral medieval renaissance days uh oh i don't think oh i take it you can't duplicate vp cards um you can uh the stipulation on duplicate is when you gain a card costing up to six you may call this to gain a copy of that card so if you bought a duchy you could duplicate it to two duchies you can't do it with the province because a province costs eight Has anyone played Human Punishment at the beginning? Just got my copy a few days ago and I can't wait to try it out. You know, I just learned about Human Punishment because I believe uh, the maker of that reached out to us asking to cover a potential future game from them. Um, and it looks super fun. Did you, how's your copy? Is Have you got it on the table yet? It looks insane. Their Kickstarter did super well, as I recall. Uh, Promise. Good games. Oh, you did it? Well, I was listening to you, but I, yeah. <laughs> I had to say it when I bought it. No, no, I'm glad you did it. Let's let's see how you did it. Uh, you played an amulet. Oh my gosh, you played, well, that's quite a turn. Thank you. Uh, six gold. Oh, nice. You played your gold for a province. All right, you're back in the game. Score seven to eight. This particular game, we have a lot of cards that wait a turn to have an effect. So I've yeah. got things on my tavern mat coming yeah. in clutch. I'm gonna trash a copper. We're gonna play a farming village. Uh, ooh. Oh, you got our transmogrify. We're gonna play it too. How'd you notice that? Oh, cause I had to reveal it, huh? Mm -hmm. How did I she just, know? I see y'all. I am How the wizard. <laughs> uh, let's vassal. Ooh, yeah. And vassal allows us to play a card from the top of our deck if it's an action card, which it was. So I played another farming village. And finally we'll amulet to, uh, do I trash? This is a big turn. This is big, this is big. Um. I'm nervous, I only have one action card in hand. Could be trouble. I think I do trash this we, copper. We have a defensive card in the caravan, but we have no attacking cards, so that's interesting. Uh, notably, your soldier was an attacking card. I remember I had to discard. Oh yeah, but I've already traded up, so I don't have it anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and it's got a little swords symbol on it. Okay, so let me count right now. I've got three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> I think we're gonna try. Play an action card. Play a farming village. Mm. Play a sentry. <gasps> oh gosh. Justin made a good point. You can duplicate a province if you can make it cheaper with bridges or something. Uh, the copy of the card doesn't count towards the end game, right? Uh, yes, the copy Nightcat does count towards the new game. You, if you're not creating a copy, you're gaining a copy from that same pile. It's not like it clones it from nothing. You just you gain an additional one. If that supply pile was empty, you couldn't gain an additional one, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna play out my treasures and I'm only to seven, so I will borrow to draw one less next turn. And I will buy province. Taco Muerte says, I saw a game called Desperation on GameFound last night. It looks very fun. There's so many games. Don't talk we were about just talking me. about 
human punishment. <laughs> like there's so many games that sound like not fun. Desperation, <laughs> human punishment. <laughs> <laughs> but they're super popular. Oh, Dwery Wildstar is talking about Among Cultists, a future mm. release on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. We don't know anything about it. But maybe we'll get to play someday. I'll gain a silver, then I'll decline that and throw my duplicate in here. We'll play this to do what? What do we do with this? Three dollars. I don't want more silver, do I? I guess I do. Fine. Okay, it's my turn. I'm gonna play Caravan Guard so I get another action. Oh no, I'm out of action cards and I'll play a Disciple. Play Treasures. I've got six. Maybe I wanna duplicate. Or maybe I'll just get... Gold. Gold! And I will duplicate that. Yeah? I duplicated my gold, and then I can exchange my disciple for a teacher. I have leveled up to the ultimate level. At the start what? of my turn, I get to start doing the token situation. Oh, you got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um. All right, I have an option to trash a card, and I think I might. You know what? I, my teacher's in my discard. I have to play it onto my tavern mat first. Yeah, that's true. You do have to play it, and then you call it on your following turn. So it's a little bit of work still. Yeah. But not much. Uh, I'm gonna trash a sentry and gain a gold. Okay. I'm not sure it's the best idea, but if I can duplicate it, I'll gain another gold. So there we go. Uh, then we'll play a sentry. We'll trash this, keep that. And then we'll play a caravan guard and an amulet. It's a good turn. I'm feeling good about it. Um, and then we'll gain just one coin, so these seven coins make a total of eight. Ah, uh, four Putting me one cards. point ahead of you. Oh, man. It's very close, very yeah, close. Okay. My turn. Mm-hmm. Ugh. But unfortunately, I only... Oh, I do have one more action with Transmogrify, so I'll play an amulet. One, two, three. Ah. <sighs> I've got too big a deck. Let's go ahead and trash a copper. Not much for me to buy today. I'd Tired love to of see you guys talking about a monk's cultist. It's on my watch list. Yeah, that is one we are looking at as well. Uh, Justin's been forever Elden ringing, and it's it's just suffering with occasional intense moments of triumph. You know, this is why I'm kind of not enthused to play that game because it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's fantastic, people love it, but it's punishing. <laughs> Just a lot of a lot of dying to demons. Uh trigger ability. Okay, you went. Oh, 13, all right. I'm gonna attempt to add a command for Katie and uh Nightcat, you you may have to correct it. <laughs> oh boy. Guess who got eight coins again this turn? Get out of here. Shake it. Bring me to 20. Um. Uh, you have a few games in the queue, including Radlands, which Becca showed me a couple I weeks ago. Radlands. I loved it too, man. I would definitely play that again. That was a blast. Uh, Foundations of Rome. Is that the... I'm getting it mixed up with another one. Foundations of Rome finally we shipped. Did? We did it at Geek and Sundry. Yeah, right? That one where you build the buildings based on like that big grid, right? Holy cow. That's got an 8.1 rating on uh, BGG. Good for them. I'm glad that finally came out. That was a fun game. Wonderland's War is also good. I still haven't played in Human Punishment. Interesting. Congratulations on the Platinum for Elden Ring, Boone. Oh man, Elden Ring in VR would be terrifying. But I bet that tree would look pretty sick. I'm just deep in the tank here. All right, we're gonna play a farming yeah, village. I can hear it. I can hear your brain. Finally sharing. playing my teacher, I found him. Excellent. Playing my treasures, got eight, grabbing a province, that's it. So, yeah, so with your teacher, you're gonna choose one of those cards. I'm interested to know which one it is. Probably your amulet. 
because that's what you have all those out. <sighs> I don't know what she's going to do. When you play a card from that pile, you get that bonus. Huh. So probably do a card you have the most of, which you have, I think, three amulets, maybe? Uh, how do I see? I don't know if you can. I'm look not sure at my you're trash. Allowed, you're not really allowed to look at your deck. You can look it through your discard, yes, I think. But there's 16 cards there, and I'm only seeing five of them. Uh, that's 16 cards in the trash. That's trash, not discard. That's oh. the, the stuff we've all sent to the trash. Got I don't it. know if you can look. Maybe you can't look through your discard. I cannot. I thought you were allowed to in the base game, but maybe that's not true I see. Anymore. The draw is way over here on my left. I'm up to seven, so we will borrow. Get that last province. Damn it, I did this. <laughs> game over. I have no one to blame but myself, but look at how close that was. And the first game was uber close too. Okay, that that's was the great. end of the game, so that means it's the end of the stream. I can't did do you... it. Yeah, I can't do it. You can't French exit a stream. Yeah, that's a, it's it a performance, bad. it's not a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you could have just gone cut to black. <laughs> oh. <laughs>